All right, welcome to Roadrunner Sports. My name is Mike Godfordson. I am here to tell you a little bit about some industry trends and secrets that you may not know about. Um, give you the summary, the rundown of what we're going to cover today. First off, there is a real trend right now around moderately priced running shoes that I'm going to get into a little bit. Um, I want to talk about which brands are hot right now. If you're kind of in the market looking, you're not sure which brand to go to or your friend's telling you about a hot brand, I can give you the insight on some shoes that are really doing well for us right now. Uh, what else do we have? Hey, travel. Travel and shoes. People are buying shoes, and I'll give you the little tidbit right now, similar to these, for all their travel needs, these younger customers are looking for a lot of different things when they go on their adventurous trips or their expeditions and they're looking for different shoes to wear. So we'll get into that a little bit. Um, we've got some trail trends. There are some really cool trail trends happening in the marketplace right now that I want to get into. Uh, and Brooks is leading the charge there for sure. And then finally around cross training. Um, I'm not sure how many of you out there are mixing up your running with cross training or different workouts but they are taking over the country. You've got Orange Theory. Uh, you've got these uh, CrossFit type gyms called F45, which have really popped up and gotten very popular. Um, so we'll take a look at those five things, talk about those five things, and hopefully give you some insight and knowledge that not too many people know about. All right? So let's start first and foremost with the versatile shoes that are out there right now that people are looking to buy. And these are kind of versatile shoes that, this is the Brooks Rebel right here that I have. And the thing about these shoes is that the price point of around $100 is really taken off right now. And a lot of people are wearing these shoes not only for their runs, which you can definitely do, but also in a casual environment. So they're putting them on with their jeans. Uh, they're wearing them with their shorts on the weekend. Um, they're wearing them to the gym to do their general exercise and workouts. So we're really seeing a lot of cross-functional uses for these shoes that are look great casually, but also have a functional use to them. Um, so that's kind of a hot trend right now. And you'll notice when you come to our website uh, or in our store, you're going to see a lot more categories and options uh, for these type of lifestyle shoes around the $100 price point. Uh, than you ever have before. Uh, and that's because you, the customer out there, is telling us that you want them and need them, and uh, we're trying to provide them for you. Okay, So that's the lifestyle active shoe that's kind of selling right now for us really well. Um, the other things, what brands are hot? So we held up these shoes earlier, the Adidas and the New Balance. Okay, These shoes right now are definitely, are definitely trending in the right direction. And these kind of also can be used for travel as well. Um, as you're going out there, a lot of people are just putting one shoe in their bag. That's all they want. And they want to be able to walk in it, have it be comfortable, but also provide some type of uh, running or uh, training needs. Okay. So if you're looking at brands that are hot right now, you've got Brooks, you've got Hoka, you've got Ultra, you've got On. Um, those brands right now are super, super hot. And if you haven't tried on a Hoka shoe yet, um, I really encourage you to come down to the store, check it out, because these shoes are incredibly comfortable, incredibly comfortable. Um, what brands are not doing so well right now? I think right now you've seen Asics kind of trend in the opposite direction of where they've been in the past 15, 20 years, really. Um, you've also got Mizuno and Saucony kind of holding up, uh, but not necessarily growing quite as fast as some of these other brands. So it's been really interesting as we've started 2018 to really see the emergence of Hoka and On uh, come into the uh, come into play here. But of course, there's the there's the Brooks shoes that are just crushing everything right now. So it's really fun to see. Let's talk about some trail trends. These Brooks shoes right now, you can see the, the splash of color that's coming out. A lot of people are buying these trail shoes. Um, and I've got a used trail shoe here uh, that the team came in. So this one here, you can see a lot of the people out there are wearing this not only for their trail runs, but also for some of their street runs. 
um, and for their cross training workouts. Um, and this has been a real popular trend as well to wear with jeans or in a casual setting. Um, so the trail category for us, again, with Brooks leading the charge, on fire. So if you haven't put on a trail shoe in a while or you thought, oh, the trail shoe's not for me, I encourage you to check it out. This trail trend is really hot right now, okay? And then finally, we've got the CrossFit component. Um, the CrossFit, the cross-training component that's really taken over the country, right? I mentioned an Orange Theory or an F45 type gym. Um, a lot of people, a uh, wider base in the, uh, in the uh, outsole here, and a lot of people are wearing these shoes um, to, to really drive a lot of their training. And we're seeing this category in particular surpass a lot of our running shoe brands um, in terms of popularity, um, in terms of people buying them. Um, so it's been really fun to see. We've got a big cross-training uh, selection and category at Roadrunner, um, and I don't expect that to slow down anytime soon, okay? So with that said, we kind of went over five different trends. We've got this active lifestyle, moderately priced type shoe, right? The Brooks Rebel around $100 price point. Uh, we've got which brands are hot right now? Brooks, Ultra, Hoka, On, really emerging in 2018. Asics kind of going the other way. Uh, and then kind of the stalwarts kind of keeping their ground around Saucony, uh, New Balance. Um, those two in particular. We've got a big travel kind of uh, travel play with a lot of people doing more experiences, kind of going for one shoe in the bag, right? New Balance and Adidas. This type of category is doing really well for us. And then the trail shoe. If you haven't tried a trail shoe in a while, check it out. The Brooks trail shoes are really, really popping right now for us. Nice, colorful shoes here. And then the CrossFit trend and the cross training trend. Uh, a lot of people buying these shoes, really emerging for us. We have a whole section in a lot of our retail stores around the different CrossFit options that we sell. Um, so it's been great to see these shoes kind of pop on the market here. So with that said, I think I have a few questions here. Uh, Kevin and Sean, are these coming through right now? I don't think I can quite read them. Uh, no, okay, okay. So, so I think that's gonna conclude what we have here today. Hope you enjoyed the five secrets kind of of what's happening in the marketplace, and uh, I'm sure we'll connect real soon.